You guys want to go see what's going on in the greenhouse with me? Go check that out. It rained a lot yesterday and last night, but it was good. We needed it. Greenhouse. I opened up the greenhouse this morning. It's nice and toasty in here. Ooh. Really nice and toasty in here. A lot, of, a lot of bugs too. I think we even still have a dragonfly in here. They're, they're loving it. It's warm. Um, but anyways, so let's do a quick greenhouse tour before my babies wake up from their nap. Alright, so as usual, peppers look fantastic. These guys kind of fell over, I think with the wind and rain, they fell over, but look at the really nice sweet peppers on there. Super exciting. I'll just have to clip, clip those bad boys back up. This guy I'm going to have to clip back up too. Still lots of awesome growth going on. Look at all of them. That's so exciting. Uh, yeah, these guys look great too. This is fantastic. This means we'll have a lot of peppers for our, we start our winter CSA share next, next Wednesday. Look, I'm so excited that my uh, lunchbox peppers are finally starting to turn color. They didn't turn color all summer. They stayed green and somebody told me that that is because they, um, it was too hot in here for them to change color. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to assume it is because as soon as we started getting colder weather, um, they started changing color. That's really exciting. Oh, lordy, lordy, the tomatoes. <laughs> The tomatoes um, are still crazy. They're still nuts. Oh, I've been kind of just clipping them back as they die off. Although this guy looks like brand new. Like, what are you doing? Oh, they keep sending off like brand new little shoots off of the bottoms of the plants. So they're just survivalists. They're, <laughs> which is fine. It's kind of nice. Um, we're going into mid-October here and we've got still plenty of healthy tomato plants out here growing like crazy. Oh my lanta. There we go. All right. My celebrity is starting to get a little sick. I'm going to mix up some copper spray for her because I don't want to lose the celebrity because this is like a really nice tomato. Oh, hello. Hello. Beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful ripe tomato on the ground. Oh, there's more down here. Goodness gracious. Oh, looks like I have some picking to do today. Come out here and take care of stuff. The peas need to be strung up. I need to get my lazy butt on that. I also need to weed this bed. The broccoli is doing fantastic though. It is a little leggy, but this to be expected with shorter days. Um, it's just going to be kind of slower growing stuff in here during the winter and during the fall than it would be during the summer, but that's okay. It is what it is, and as long as we're still growing, I see that as a, as a success. Carrots aren't coming up yet. They probably won't for probably five fish more days, I'm thinking, but we'll see. Um, started some cabbage and cauliflower seeds just kind of in there until we get the raised beds actually up for them to go in. So, Greenhouse is a hot mess right now. Oh, the Swiss chard. That Swiss chard will never die. That's, you guys are going to see it every video. I'm just going to be like, yep, Swiss chard's still good. Lots of little eggplants. They're getting there. Lots of little ones. I got to get these plants strung up. I need to pick yellow beans today. 
They love it out here. The green beans are going nuts. Look how big they are compared to the last video. They look fantastic. I'm so excited. The beets that I used were old seed and they're not germinating very well. So I'm going to have to go dig out and find my new beet seed and replant, I think. We, I am getting some. I'm getting some, but not as many as I would like to get. So, Lettuce, as always, doing fantastic. Still haven't planted new kale seed. I need to get on that. I also need to harvest off of the couple plants that I left in there. Spinach! Look how many more leaves since last week. That's really exciting. Love it. Super exciting. I do need to get more spinach in here though. Probably one to two more rows of spinach because um, we eat a lot of spinach. And so don't the stupid caterpillars. Look at that. Terrible. I'm going to have to go through a little bit of neem oil, I guess. Oh, goodness. It's steamy out here. Steamy, steamy. And we just put those, like I was telling you guys before, we just put those um, Asian green F1 seeds that we had found. We don't know what they are. But I guess we'll find out. We kind of threw those in there. That'll be fun. So that's pretty much greenhouse hasn't changed too too much but it has this little progress happening it'll be slower than as if it was summertime because we are definitely getting less sun and it's also more rainy so it's a lot more cloudy days this greenhouse does get fantastic sun if you can see that all day the sun sits right there so this is a really good spot for a greenhouse in the winter but first we have to stop getting so much rain so look at all the blossoms Look at all the flowers on this tomato plant. It's crazy. Crazy. The pigs got flooded pretty good last night, too. They were pretty mad about that. Actually, their house, their, their house got flooded, so they all slept outside. I was like, oh, no. So we'll have to fix that. All right. So that's the greenhouse right now. Looks pretty good. My pepper plants are still kicking it. They are, uh, they're getting huge too. Look how tall they are. They're almost as tall as the tomato plants. It's insane. I'm so excited to see what they do over the winter.